Away from Abuja to River State, where it has been a wave of resignations, as three more commissioners earlier today resigned from the government of Seminalai Fubara. The three latest resignations include the Commissioner for Education, Professor Chinedo Mom, Commissioner for Housing and Gift, Wolu, and Commissioner for Transport, Jacob Senembina. In the last 24 hours, Commissioners for Works, George Kelly Alabo, Finance, Isaac Kamalu, and Social Welfare, Inemi Aguma, the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Zakias Adangor, had all resigned from Governor Fubara's cabinet. Uh, a wave of resignation is hitting the River State government as about six commissioners have left Governor Sin Fubara's cabinet on Thursday. First was the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Zakias Adangor, followed by Commissioner for Works and Labo Judge Kelly. If you have been wondering what the cause of the rift between Governor Fubara and the Yesumwike is, wonder no more because we are going to reveal to you what happened before that have led to this problem. As the political crisis developed, the federal lawmakers are now protesting, asking President Tinubu to intervene. But the National Assembly has a constitutional role to intervene in this kind of crisis. Are they going to do that? Or if not, why not? We will reveal that also in a few minutes in this video. First of all, the list of commissioners functioning in River State, the special advisors and the other key aides, as well as the portfolios they occupy, was handed over to the River State Governor Simi Fubara by Yesomwike. He listed the persons, selected their portfolios, and just handed them over to Fubara to announce and swear in. This is the information coming from a close aide of the governor, who's discloses saying that Fubara had no single input into the appointment as Mwike was solely responsible for this selection and appointment. The source also said that the resignation of some of the commissioners was a confirmation that they were not Fubara's choices, but were rather imposed on Fubara by Mwike who installed Fubara also as his successor. Is it now making sense to you? Everything was handed down. And now that is the major cause of a problem that we are facing right now. How many commissioners have resigned anyway? Because many people have lost count. And what is the plan of these commissioners after leaving Wicked's government? Are they going to leave PDP and join APC? Or are they just going to go back into their private businesses or sit and watch? Now, let's give you the list of the controversial uh, uh, um, resignations. The resignation of the commissioners have shown that they were not appointed by the governor first. They were never his nominees. The list of the commissioners and advisors was handed over, like I mentioned. So, which of them have resigned so far? First of all, the River State Executive Council resignation continued on Friday, started first on Thursday, with three more commissioners joining the fray. On Friday, they are the Commissioners for Transport, Dr. Jacobson Mbina, Commissioner for Housing, Dr. Gift Wolu, and Environment, Austin Ben Chioma, their resignations were contained in separate letters cited by journalists already and addressed to the government through the state, uh, the secretary to the state government. Both Nbina and Austin Ben Chioma were also commissioners, if you remember, on that week. And now, the final tally of those commissioners that have resigned is nine. So far, nine commissioners have resigned. Mbina confirmed his resignation and said that I have resigned yesterday. And his reason was simply 
personal to him and his family. I don't have any issue with the governor. It is very personal. There were reports that their action was also, listen, a preparing the ground for them to officially now defect the mass to APC. We are watching how this will happen because this Politicians don't just go home and sit. They keep moving from one party to the other. Earlier, Professor Zakeus Adango, SAN, the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice for the State, resigned. Dr. Des George Kelly, Commissioner for Works, resigned. Emeka Woke Special Duties, resigned. Mrs. Inime Aguma, Social Welfare and Rehabilitation, resigned. Isaac Kamalu, finance, resigned. And Professor Chinedu, mom, education, have also resigned. Mom, and Dango, Aguma, George Kelly, Mbina, and Kamalu all served as commissioners under the immediate past administration of Mwike and before being reappointed by Fubara. Let's just use the word reappointed. On his part, Emeka Woke, who also resigned from Fubara's cabinet and special duties commissioner, was Wike's chief of staff for eight years. Basically, Wike transferred all the people that worked with him and took Fubara and put on top as the governor. And basically, again, Wike's government is still running in River State. The governor cannot breathe. Don't ask me if you want to know why he can't breathe. Go and uh, ask the Senate president, Goswila Akpabio, who said Nigerians, let Nigerians breathe or whatever. So that's what caused the problem. The man could not function. He was a stooge. He has spies all over him. Any move, they ask the Oga in Abuja. So it was Mwike running the affairs. And the man became uncomfortable. The, the, at least this is a very major reason. Whether he's supposed to give him billions or whatever every month, you can basically function. You, you are just sitting there as a sitting dog. So this is the main issue. Now that these people have resigned, the man can now assemble a government that will help him run his affairs. This is what is going on. You have had their next plan to switch over a mass to um, APC. Now, what of the National Assem uh, the State Assembly has that was demolished? Is it finished? What is happening next? And what is the federal legislature going to do about what's happening in River State? Okay, let me tell you about the demolition. It is not done yet. You can imagine the dramatic way it was demolished. We just heard that the lawmakers went there to have a meeting and they took them to court saying they should not meet there again because the complex is suffering from, uh, is not stable anymore. The integrity of the structure is not guaranteed. And everybody was saying, why did the judge rule? They were going to take the judge to the National Judicial Council. Suddenly, the next morning, boom, 11 caterpillars showed up from nowhere, bulldozers, and tore everything to pieces. So, meanwhile, the demolition of that assembly continued on Friday with the hallowed chambers completely pulled down. People who visited the complex reported that there were four bulldozers inside the complex, pulling down other adjoining buildings. The Commissioner of Information and Communication, Joe Johnson, this is an interesting man, listen, told journalists that the decision of the state government to demolish the complex built during the administration of Peter Delay in the 1999 hmm, was because after the visit of the current governor of Ubarra to assess the damage caused by the October 29 uh, explosion, he contracted a firm that reported that the building had integrity issues and was unfit for 
legislative business. So the government will rebuild the complex, but for one, uh, for the meantime, the state has provided a place for the lawmakers to be sitting, pending when the building is completed, this Commissioner Johnson said. Which lawmakers? There are just four of them, and maybe one or two that have returned from resignation. Now, what of this Commissioner Johnson? Is he also going to resign? Because he looks like he's siding with Fubar and speaking for the government now. Is he also going to resign? Is he not among those imposed by Nwike on Fubara? Or has Fubara given him a baptism of fire that is now on his hand? Side. Time. We tell. Now, quickly let me touch on the National Assembly before we end this video so that it's not so long. The National Assembly have a right to make laws for River State. But the Constitution says when the State Assembly can no more function. The National Assembly can take over legislative duties for River State. But hey, the state legislature of River State is still functioning. They have at least four or five people and they have passed a budget. And that is why the National Assembly's hand is tied. They can do nothing. Thank you for listening to this video because we gather every aspect and present it to you so that you are aware I'm fully informed on what is going on in River State. We will see you in our next update, which is coming very soon. Stay tuned.